Yo, Steel Mills, what's the deal, man? Yo, peep game, bro. Um, I just saw footage of Deontay Wilder on the mix. And it was pretty, it was very much so impressive, man. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm kind of shocked at us because I was just talking to the bros yesterday and it was asking me about Wilder. And I'm like, don't nobody want to see a third fight with Fury in that regard? Nobody, like, nobody is. That shit doesn't trump an undisputed match. It doesn't. But after seeing this clip, it does make it a little bit more interesting. Now, granted, he does have to get in there and, and, and polish himself through sparring. You know, anybody can look good on the mitts. Any, you know, anybody anybody can look good on the mitts doing the movements, but it's actually how you implement it into your game. Embed that shit, what you learn on the mitts, into your fighting identity. That's when we'll start. And you have to do that through combat. So that's what we'll see if anything comes into fruition. But he does seem to, like, humble himself because I've never seen him, I've never seen him slip, like, ever. Like, ever on the mitts like I, the footage I've seen of him on the mitts and shadow boxing and everything that's kind of what turned me off to do like nah bro you bullshit I remember watching one clip and he was throwing an uppercut and it looked like <laughs> the Shorayuki uppercut off Street Fighter and I was just like nah bro I'm cool I'm good I think now he's in a space where he's not trying to be complacent with just having the right, a big right hand. Because if you can't deliver the shot, you know, what good is your right hand? If somebody can blanket that shot, what good is it? I seen him really, you know, really working the jab and not just throwing the jab, just like how Tyson threw the jab, you know, taking his head off of the line with the jab, you know what I'm saying? Change the levels with the jab, jab into the body, or not even going downstairs with the jab, but just simply dropping his level and throwing a jab. I I've seen a lot of vocabulary and development in just that one little clip. So I don't know, is Malik Scott really, really being, you know what I'm saying? The, the you know, the coach that everybody is, or wasn't expecting him to be? Because if he has Deontay Wilder looking like this come fight night, then yikes. Now this is a completely different Wilder. Now this is a Wilder that that has the skill to back the power. And now you can you can you can favor him in a lot of uh, fights with top contenders, top ten fighters. You did his hands was up. That's what another thing that I've noticed, man. Wilder keeps his hands really low. Until he starts getting loaded up on, you dig? When he's, you know, when he starts eating a lot of leather, then he'll start putting his hands up. But it's not in a high guard type position. He'll flail his arms out there, just because his limbs are so damn long that you have to go. It's like literally cutting weeds to get to the fucking target. So he'll flail his arms out there as a sign of, the, as, a, as a line of defense. This one I seen a tight guard. I seen a tight guard and I seen a steady jab. Like I think he's really trying to pump, you know, really in bed pumping a jab into him. If Wilder had a jab, a, a consistent jab, you're talking about a dude who's gonna be very difficult to deal with. Cause even then, you know, keeping it real, he was somewhat difficult to deal with because of that right hand. Just because he mastered the timing on the right hand. He mastered the distance on the right hand. But he only really had one or two fights to prove that I, right, bro, like this right hand is real life a problem. It's elite level power. You 212 and you flooring niggas that's 250 and 260. That's an elite level right hand. But he could never, you know, he never proved it amongst other top dogs. It's, you know, Luis Ortiz, all right. If he gets full credit for that win. And the Fury, you know, I give him credit for dropping Fury, even though people were like, ah, oh, man, he was fresh off the couch, and Fury, you know, Fury was a cherry pick, maybe. But I'll give him, I'll give him credit for the, you know, damn near putting, you know, comatose in that nigga. So, man, you know, just, what a 
what is we doing? What is we doing? Can we keep this up, or is it because the minute? I mean, it's one thing to get, it's one thing to do that shit on the mix, but the minute you start, you get put under pressure. Some people go back to ordinary mode. They go right back into their comfort zone because they don't know no better. So what if this Carlos Negron motherfucker starts hitting them, touching them, if they are gonna fight? What happens if he starts touching them a little bit more? What happens if he gets in there with a Dillian White and Dillian White starts landing left hooks upstairs and downstairs? What happens? Does he go back to that same Wilder who's just looking to load up? Because everybody is gonna be expecting that big heavy right hand. But with you adding layers to your game, that gives that much more, you know, you have more to game plan around. You have way more to game plan around. So pumping your jab, yeah, mo yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And he's fainting as well. Not necessarily measuring with the jab to throw the right hand. I seen him fainting. Fainting with his hands, fainting with his foot, you know, his footwork. Oh, I see, like, this was a completely, this was a Wilder that if you've seen him, if you've seen this Wilder on the mitts as a prospect, you like, yo, this dude is going to be a problem. I'm a little bit skeptical with it now just because he's, you know, he's 35 now. He's, you know, he's 35. Can he real life implement the, you know, these, these techniques into his game? Amongst the higher, you know, higher level, higher caliber competition, and I'm not so sure, but I am. See, I'm liking what I see. I am respecting the fuck out of what I see, man. For him to be able to, you know, I think that, you know, despite, I'll call you back, my dear. Despite him, you know losing in the manner that he lost in and going through the fucking the, you know the, the 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 mental gymnastics that he went through I think it somewhat humbled him I think it somewhat humbled him. I don't think I still don't think Mark Breland should have been the sacrificial lamb for him to plateau I I, I don't think that I don't think that I'm, I'm forever gonna feel some type of way about that because that shit just wasn't a good look Unless you just, the whole, because I mean, they've been, you know, him and Malik have been, you know, they, they've been talking this trainer shit for some years now. Maybe that was just, all right, cool. I, now this is a, another way to usher him out. So I ain't got to tell him directly, yeah, man, I'm moving on. Now I can make it sit, like, I can build up a fake beef with this nigga to make the firing legit. I don't know. You know, it's a multitude of things that could have transpired, but nonetheless, happy at what I'm seeing. It's a good look. It's a really good look. He's showing discipline in there and wanting to learn. Like That is just all we're asking. That's all we've been asking. Just humble yourself and learn, man. Just, just you know, and it's looking like he's broken that mold. Nobody wants to see heavyweights going there. Nobody wants to see skills with the heavyweights. They want to see knockouts. You only have to be perfect. You have to be perfect for 12 rounds. I got to be perfect for two seconds. You know, that goofy shit. You dig that? That just wasn't the move. And it's looking like he figured, he noticed that. You dig? Now that he, he done went in there and got crashed. So if this is the new and improved Deontay Wilder, this Wilder right here, and he can not just do it on the mitts, not just do it in the mitts. But actually do it in combat. Do it when you're under when the pressure is on. Be that comfortable and be that poised when the pressure is on. Because they're gonna know how they're they're going to know how to fight. The jab, a steady jab is gonna keep them honest. If it's a you know, if it's a if it's a nice, well-timed jab, it ain't even gotta be a heavy jab. You got pretty fast hands for a heavyweight, so snapping the jab out there is going. Because you know, they know what's coming behind the jab. So that's gonna really make motherfuckers all, you know, gonna make you, it's gonna force you to reset on that one, you know, on the entry. It's gonna force you to reset. It's gonna force you to reset on the entry. So, pumping the jab is, you know, that's, that's, that's tantamount to what it is that you had, you know, for you as a fighter. But now people know that you also can't fight on the back foot. You can't necessarily set traps or nothing like that. You're very uncomfortable in the clinch. 
so they're gonna come at you. It's gonna be a high. It's gonna be a heightened level of pressure that they're gonna put on you. It's gonna be heightened. They're coming to put that pressure. They're gonna. They're coming to apply pressure. They're most definitely coming to apply pressure. So what happens when a jab isn't enough? Like I just think it. I, I don't. I, I don't want to be pessimistic, man. But it's just like, dude, why couldn't you learn this shit as a prospect? Why couldn't you learn this shit as a prospect? Just dig. I'm all. I'm for always adding layers to your game. I'm all for that, man. But why couldn't you learn this earlier? As six, you know, six foot seven, six six. You can't teach height. You cannot teach height. So why couldn't you learn this? You know, these these tools early in your career. So by now, when you're 35. You looking like a, you're looking impossible to beat. You're looking like, man, how am I gonna beat this dude? Now you know, now it's, it's gonna be hard to really, really implement that into your game once you get under pressure. That's my biggest thing. It looks great on film. It looks great on the mitts. But what happens when someone is really like putting hands and feet on you in a fight? Whether it be sparring or whether it be fight night. What is going to happen then? Because I'm just, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I've seen people look incredible in the mitts. You dig? Because a lot of it is just routine. A lot of it is just routine, man. I mean, I'm sure you're going to, you know, they're not going to put you in there with nobody to the caliber of competition that you're fighting on fight night, man. But they're going to put you in there with some, you know, as far as sparring is concerned. They're going to put you in there with some cats that's going to get you good work. But my biggest issue is, could it be, you know... Because Carlos Negron ain't about, you know... Nah. Not Carlos Negron, bro. <laughs> you did. Carlos Negron is going to put you in a position where it's like, all right, you know, we can work out the kinks in your arm or whatever slightly, but or we can get you in there with a partner that you know is going to slightly work out the kinks in your armor. But you, when you, everybody is expecting you to go in there and outline motherfucker Carlos Negron and chalk. Everybody's expecting that. But what happens when you get in there with a game or with an opponent that can find you? What happens then? What happens then? You dig what I'm saying? So I, I need, you know, I, I'm look. You need to be hiring ex-champions to come into camp and get busy man like for real for real bro because you you looking at you looking Hergovich in the face and Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury and Dillian White and fucking Michael Hunter and Usyk and Joseph Parker I just I, I you know Joseph ugh, oh man Joseph Parker is a scary dude yeah, I, I'm more scared for you with him than anybody it's because, oh my God. So I don't know, man. I just. I'm loving what I see. I really am. I just want to be, you know, I just hope you can really, really bring it to light in the fight. I really hope you can do that. I really do. So that's how I'm feeling about it, man. Like and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Peace.